Today, we are discussing exercise and brain health. It probably doesn't matter so much when you do your exercise or what it is that you're trying to learn. It's going to be beneficial as long as the thing that you're trying to learn and the exercise are positioned fairly closely in time. There are now many, many studies showing that sleep is the thing that mediates many, not all, but many of the positive effects of exercise on brain performance and long-term brain health. Here are the four things that I believe everyone should be doing every single week in terms of their exercise program. The first was long, slow distance. Second was high intensity interval training. The third would be TUT, T-U-T, time under tension. If you're doing resistance training, and I do believe everybody should be doing resistance training, there are a near infinite number of different ways to do resistance training, as you well know. And then the fourth category of exercise that I believe everybody should include in their existing workouts or add if you're not currently working out some sort of explosive jumping and or eccentric landing. So in describing this, my hope is that you'll no longer think about exercise as just elevating your heart rate, or you no longer think about exercise just as moving your body, but rather that the movement of your body is creating specific neurochemical outcomes, both in the body and the brain that create the arousal that initiates the improvements in focus and attention that allow you to learn better and that contribute generally to brain health and longevity.